fortunate, you know, during that night that, you know, I, I survived and I'm thankful for the citizens. Thanking a hero tonight, a New Haven police officer who was shot in the ear and the shoulder last month was honored by his city. City leaders officially recognized Officer Chad Curry. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Christian Colon is live right now in New Haven with more on how the officer is doing tonight. Christian. Yeah, Officer Curry is still recovering tonight. He says he's been resting and going to therapy, but overall just feeling very lucky that he's alive. I want to congratulate you and thank you thank for the you, job you're doing. A standing ovation for Officer Chad Curry, a nine-year New Haven police officer shot in Fairhaven. I'd say it was frightening and scary, but the training kind of came into play where, you know, it, it kind of kept me calm and I knew what to do. Curry responded to a crash, but police say 36-year-old Jose Claudio fled the scene and then opened fire. It could have went... Um, the worst way you can imagine what the worst way is. You know, the worst thing could have happened, but I'm fortunate that it didn't. Dash cam video released by police shows that intense moment when the bullets flew towards him. It went through his ear and embedded back here. Right. Some, of it, some of it stayed in and some of it left, some of it grazed. Curry says he's felt the love from his community, a city that tonight thanks him for putting his life in harm's way for the benefit of others. For Chief Carl Jacobson, it was one of the worst calls he's gotten. And I just right immediately began to pray for Chad's health, and I went right to the hospital, and there was Chad joking around, you know. Um, <laughs> so it was good when I heard him laughing and kind of joking around. So um, I knew he would be all right, um, but it's a long process. He has stiffness in his shoulder, and he's working his way back, and we're just super proud of him. Curry says he can't wait to head back to work, but Chief says he still needs to rest. And when asked if this was the scariest moment on the job. The third scariest thing. <laughs> I won't say what the second and first are. <laughs> <laughs> As for the charges, when it comes to the suspect, he is facing several charges, including attempting to commit murder, as well as, well as several gun charges. He is being held on a $1.5 million bond and has a court hearing on December 8th. In New Haven tonight, Christian Colon, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Christian, thank you very much.